Mm -hmm. Well, you know, um, I want to go back to the specifics of how trade is very active between Los Angeles and Korea. What are some of the major industries that benefit from this relationship? Well, the port of Los Angeles and our airport mm -hmm. uh, disproportionately benefit the most, uh, but the Southern California economy mm -hmm. uh, benefits from uh, the trade that uh, is generated from mm -hmm. Korea. As I said, uh, we entered into a memorandum of understanding with Hyundai Merchant Hyundai. Marine. Mm -hmm. uh, we had discussions mm -hmm. with the Lotte Group uh, about citing uh, businesses uh, in Los Angeles. They're working on, uh, they have an entertainment sector and a hotel sector, and we yes. talked about uh, citing a hotel mm -hmm. uh, in downtown or in the LA area. Mm -hmm. um, but trade itself, uh, every year, and particularly now with the Korea Free Trade Agreement, we expect the trade is just going to keep on growing mm -hmm. uh, with Korea. Well, let's look at some of the photos from your Korea trip and talk more about the particulars that you discuss with those individuals. The first one is with the Prime Minister Kim. Tell me, um, what was your first impression of Prime Minister? Congenial, uh -huh. uh, a great friend of the United States. Uh, uh, we had uh, a very uh, informative discussion. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone uh, foresaw uh, the passing of Kim Jong-il, um, certainly uh, not I, uh, but we did discuss uh, that relationship and I think now with uh, his passing, there's going to be a lot of concern about the stability uh, of North Korea. And, mm -hmm. and I hope uh, that uh, this new leadership will understand that uh, uh, there's an opportunity to forge a, a peace and uh, to move away from uh, the kind of belligerence we've seen in the past yeah, yeah. from that country. Well, let's move on to the... Um Next photo that we see, I know you met with the, the newly elected mayor of Seoul. Yes. Uh, mayor Park is known to be a gentleman who brings a lot of new ideas and initiatives. I wonder it's if he's an intellectual, found him. Uh, mm -hmm. a lawyer, a uh -huh. civil rights lawyer, as mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he worked with NGOs. Uh -huh. uh, he's mm -hmm. um, he's a very serious uh, person. Mm -hmm who uh, seems to have his mm -hmm. touch uh, already on the details of governing. And I'm excited about uh, working with him. And I wonder if it brought some memories of how when the first time you were elected mayor, that was six years ago, and here is a gentleman you met for the first time who was just elected about a month before you were meeting with him. Um, well, you know, it's interesting because I've now met, I've now met I think three mm -hmm. uh, different mayors of Seoul. Mm -hmm. uh, the, During the term of your office, yes, yes, the last six years. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, it was interesting. <laughs> when he was talking, it, it reminded me a lot of mm -hmm. when I'd just gotten elected and, mm -hmm. you know, the excitement of, uh, of. So did you give him some advice on how to govern? govern? <laughs> no, we, we, yeah. we exchanged ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as an example, uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, we talked about, uh, I guess he's uh, in the process of, uh, before he makes major decisions, mm -hmm. he, he uh, polls the city to see oh. where they are. Mm -hmm. He wants to get the input, mm -hmm. and that's very, very important. Sure. And I acknowledge that. Uh, and then I said, but even though you do that, there are times when you have to make decisions that are unpopular mm -hmm. and that maybe everybody doesn't support, mm -hmm. but they're the right thing to do. Sure. <laughs> and so we talked about that yeah, and yeah. had a good conversation. Mm -hmm. A lot of respect yeah. for him. From the press reports, it says that uh, you had, well, you've already always had a friendly um, city agreement that you talked about earlier, but you also have MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, to supply the electric vehicles, right? Yes. Tell, tell me about that. And was there any advanced well, what we, discussion? What that Memorandum of Understanding focuses on is the exchange of best practices, ideas, mm -hmm. uh, specific uh, 
uh, initiatives around uh, the, the electric vehicle. You know, LA mm -hmm. uh, and Seoul want to be the electric uh, vehicle capitals of their respective nations. And we talked about working together uh, closer and on a staff level. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We both agreed that we want to make sure mm -hmm. the staff is following up on that mm -hmm. and that we really are learning from one another with respect to moving ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at the photo of the last person you met. This is President of Kira, Mr. Sa gong -yan. Yes. Do you remember him? Yeah. Yes, I do. I bet, uh, I think it's easy to imagine that the uh, discussion with that gentleman was centering around the recently passed Corus FTA, the yes. Korea-US. We did have a very, agreement. very important mm -hmm. discussion mm -hmm. around ways that LA and Seoul and mm -hmm. Korea mm -hmm. uh, can build on this free trade agreement mm -hmm. uh, to create jobs uh, and investment mm -hmm. and trade in both uh, Korea mm -hmm. uh, and Los Angeles. So do you think um, six years ago when you first came to the office and six years later, looking back, were some of your initial goal realized today? And if there are some things that you still want to achieve, what are they? Well, I made public safety my priority and I'm very proud of the work that we've done to make LA safer, uh, but also focus our efforts mm -hmm. on really strengthening our relationships with the communities, including the Korean community, sure. the Latino, the African-American. Mm -hmm. LA is such a diverse place sure. and making sure that those communities uh, are working with and that our police department are collaborating with these communities is very, very important. Mm -hmm. That are making sure that our police force looks like LA mm -hmm. and has a, a strong representation of these communities mm -hmm. is important. Two, um, my efforts to reform and improve our schools. Mm -hmm. uh, we've doubled the number of, uh, of charters in Los Angeles schools, which are independent mm -hmm. schools. Uh, we've uh, reduced the number of failing schools at uh, 650 and below from 33 mm percent -hmm. to 10 percent. Uh, we've doubled the number of schools at 800 mm -hmm. and above in that period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, three, uh, our agenda around uh, sustainability and greening the city. Uh, we've gone to 20% renewables at our, at our public utility, the Department of Water and Power. Mm -hmm. We reduced uh, emissions from trucks by 80% at the port. Uh, we are expanding our public transportation system mm -hmm. with the passage of Measure R, a half penny, that will generate $40 billion. So all of those things are uh, mm -hmm. priorities mm -hmm. that I had sure. as I set out and uh, yes uh, we want to continue to work on those priorities sure. uh, with the economy being where it is jobs has taken uh, a center stage um, position mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as I said uh, this trip uh, was about the jobs that come with trade right. tourism and investment sure. and I want to thank you for uh, letting me be here with you today and uh, I look forward to another interview before sure. I'm gone. Well, thank you so much for making the time, understanding how busy you are. So thank oh, you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is the last episode of Real Talk for Season 2. I'd like to thank all of our viewers who have been watching and listening to our Real Talk with our very special guests for the last four months. I hope your 2011 was a productive one, but even more, that your plans and goals for 2012 would become reality. So, Happy New Year!